Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. So today I want to talk about the proper way to give signs as a catcher. This is something that I see uh, a lot of catchers, especially at young levels, uh, do incorrectly. And uh, this is really, really important because... As an opposing team, as a coach or as players, you know we're trying to we're trying to see the catcher signs. If the catcher's going to give us the signs and allow us to see them, well, then we're going to take them. And there's been plenty of times in my career as a coach where I'm coaching third base, and the catcher is giving signs that I can clearly see. And so, you know, some people say, well, you shouldn't take the signs from the catcher. In my opinion. Um, I think that's part of the game. It's part of the game as a catcher to hide your signs. It's part of the game as the opposing team. If the catcher isn't going to hide their signs, well, we're going to take your signs, right? And so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I've seen that done at, at every single level. Um, and so as a catcher, let's talk about ways that you need to make sure that you're hiding your signs, okay? So the first thing is when you're giving your signs, this is a stance that has to be comfortable for you because you're going to give signs an awful lot. And if you're not comfortable, well, then you're probably not going to do a very good job of hiding them because you're going to just try to get, give them extremely quickly so you can get out of that stance, all right? So you should be fairly comfortable. Feet are pretty close together. Back is going to be um, pretty vertical here. We like to have our knees. Our knees should be pretty close together, basically pointed out at the shortstop and the second baseman, okay? Um, I don't want my knees out too wide this way because the wider my knees get, well, the more that either the first or third base coach can see my signs, or if there's a runner on first or a runner on third, they can see the signs as well, right? So I need to make sure that my knees are close enough together. Again, if you point if you point them out towards the second and shortstop, well then, that should be fine. And one thing you can do is ask your third baseman and your first baseman if they can see your signs because they shouldn't be able to see them. If you're doing a good job, the only people that should be able to see your signs are the pitcher, the shortstop, and the second baseman. Okay, So that's the first thing. Right? So she does a good job right here. And you can see she actually... She'll close her knees and bring her knees even closer together as she goes to give the sign, right? And so right here, this is impossible for anyone else to see these signs other than the pitcher, shortstop, and second baseman, all right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is you can see when she gives the sign, it's not down here. This is another mistake that I see catchers make is they give their sign too low, if you give the sign too low, well, same thing. Now, all of a sudden, I can start to see if I'm coaching. So if I'm coaching third and you give the sign right where she's giving that, I can't see that at all. But if you start putting that down here on the ground, I can see that sign, okay? Now, uh, so that's two, right? One, you can't have your knees open too far this way. Two, you cannot give the sign down low. You want to give it right up against your body right there. Right? Again, no one can see that. Now, three, with your glove. Now, I typically have our catchers make their glove an extension of their knee. So their glove is going to be a little bit higher. Again, basically right off of this left knee. Um, now, she puts her glove really low. Uh, I'm not sure if she's taught to do this. Maybe because she has her knees so close together, she figures, well, I don't need to make it an extension of my knee. And so she puts it there in case her sign is too low, even though it's not. Her sign is basically perfect right here. Uh, and so I'm not 100% sure on that. Again, I typically have the left, the glove, basically an extension right there of my knee. And so it makes it even more difficult for, for the third base coach to be able to see my sign okay now those are the three basically the three keys now the next thing 
Um, actually, let's back up for a second. If there is a runner on second, I see this done incorrectly so much. If there is a runner at second base, we can't just give one sign. You have to give multiple signs because the runner at second's job is to, again, we tell our runners to relay in the signs. So we have um, different signals for our runners at second base that if the catcher's only giving one sign and they put down a sign for a fastball, well, then we're going to relay that sign to the hitter so that the hitter knows what pitch is coming. All right, And so you need to give multiple signs. So maybe you give three signs and it's the second sign or it's the first sign or it's the third sign. Uh, it really can be any system you want. Just don't give one sign. Okay, That's the key. And uh, most games, again, especially at a low level, will play a lot of teams that just give one sign. And we can relay signs in the entire game and nobody realizes it's happening. Okay, So that's really important as well. The last thing I'll say is how you get ready for the pitch is important so you want to make sure that you're not always doing the same thing so one thing i look for as a coach catchers will get into the habit of doing the exact same thing so they'll give the sign and then if it's a fastball away they'll step out with their right foot first and then they'll catch the ball okay if it's a fastball in here well then they'll step in with their left foot if it's an off-speed pitch, sometimes they'll hop with both feet. But they do the same thing every time. And so then as a coach, you can pick that up. And let's say you know, we have something verbal where I can just watch the catcher. And if they hop, and we know that is an off-speed pitch, well, then we can just call in, hey, 5-4, here we go. And now the hitter knows here comes an off-speed pitch, and they're ready to hit it. Right. If every time you step with your left foot first, it's a fastball inside. Well, same thing. We have, you know, her name. Let's say her name's Laura. Well, catcher gives a sign, steps with her left foot. We know a fastball's coming. Hey, here we go, Laura. Fastball inside. They know. Right. So that makes the game really easy. So you have to defend against all that stuff. And maybe at a low level, it doesn't matter. Um, but it does at a higher level for sure. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Share the video with all your friends. Um, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.